Consent is like tea. Unconscious people do not want tea. I'm sure you, if, if you are in high school, you have seen that video. I have seen that video so many times, because clearly as an adult, I do not understand the concept of consent. But, um, weird college orientations aside, uh, he, here's the thing. Momo-kun is a cosplayer, and she doesn't understand the simple terms of tea being like consent. You see, Momo, the cosplayer that she is, um, ha has this issue with her ADHD, that apparently her ADHD leads her to grab an ass and grab an genitals um, indiscriminately, specifically because she's just so excited. And, you know, sometimes I'm very, like, handsy and touchy with friends, and I get a little crazy and immature, and a few years ago, clearly, that's what I was doing. Sometimes I, I get a little, like, crazy, and I think a lot of it has to do with, like, having ADHD and, like, not being able to control myself sometimes. Momo, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't appreciate it if someone grabbed your ass. However, um... Apparently you think it's fine to grab everyone else's. Even better is the amount of orbiters that surround Momo and defend her at every single waking moment. And I think that's pretty funny. Uh, only because they are hapless virgins who completely just ignore factual evidence for the sake of protecting their waifu who will never acknowledge their existence. In fact, even I have orbiters, so I understand how Momo could have a uh, bit of an ego. Um, just know that if you are an orbiter, I make fun of you regardless of who you are. Go get a new hobby. There you go. Anyway, aside from sexually harassing people, there must be another reason for people to dislike Momo, uh, cause she's been getting a lot of shit on the internet for quite some time. Well, it turns out, uh, Momo likes to lie. In fact, she likes to lie quite a bit. And if there's one thing on the internet that doesn't really fly, it's, uh, disingenuous people. So one thing that really bothered me is how Momo said that, uh, she's been getting skinny and, and losing weight through healthy eating and fitness, which is great. That's something I encourage everyone to do. That's something that I love to hear creators doing. Um, but, turns out, she was full of shit and she got liposuction. Now, getting liposuction isn't a problem. It can be a great start for someone to lose weight who's really overweight. However, many people uh, get the fat removed and then it just comes back on because they don't change their diet. Even better, um, people were able to deduce where the marks were made on her body where the liposuction took place. So, whoops, I wonder who paid for that. Our patrons. Needless to say, with this right now, it'd be a wonderful shitstorm. But Momo is also a lazy person, much like myself. We are unable to meet deadlines at a consistent basis. However, for me, I, I'm actually honest about it in that I was just spending all day watching Sims 4 review videos. Did you know that there's over 13 stuff packs for that? 13 editions that are $10 a piece that just add fucking items. A anyway, the fact of the matter here is, is that Momo says, I'm gonna do something, and then... She doesn't do it. See, the silence was, um, nothing happening. Much like what happens when Momo says she's gonna send out her lewd prince to her lewd tier patrons. And the thing is, even better, many of these patrons, whether or not they remember if they're even, you know, fucking patrons of her, uh, you know, they'll, they'll just stay there. Because Momo works hard for her cosplay craft. Sometimes, you just can't get it out because that Mega Milk cosplay just ain't up to code. It's not there yet. You gotta wait. Turns out she doesn't even make some of her cosplays. Whoops. You ever see that meme where the guy's like, uh, I made this. And then the other guy grabs it and he's like, I made this. That's what happens. <laughs> Instead of crediting artists that make the cosplay for her, which would be a totally okay thing. Instead, Momo says, see this, I made this. And then doesn't credit them. Thank God she pays them. Could you imagine? Oh, oh, oh my god. But yes, as a result of that, the entire internet has decided to go through Momo's life and and find out everything bad about her, so that's that's great. Turns out, instead of doing a photo shoot, um, she instead went to Hawaii for a vacation. And then when people said, Yo, bitch, why the fuck are you in Hawaii? Uh, she said, Yeah, I'm just doing a photo shoot here. And then, um... Unfortunately, there was no photo shoot that was produced. You know, but Momo's an entrepreneur, right? Uh, she, she's shilling out lots of cash. In fact, 
she's not even making enough money yet to clearly live off her cosplay, then maybe you should stop spending your money on a bunch of useless crap. A rose by a, any other name is just as sweet. You remind me of, 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 of Greg. Greg, you remind me of Greg Onision, oh my god, who says he's broke all the fucking time because he keeps buying shit. You know, I, I, I think a lot of people become internet personalities with absolutely zero ability to run a business. You know, I, I, I personally find me functioning in real life society to help a little bit. Um, so maybe if it's hard to live off cosplay, space out your time better. Anyway, the internet collectively has been sitting down and taking a poop on a Momo code, and so we're gonna look at one of these videos um, that I thought was by an orbiter, but is in fact by an absolute mad lad. People said that she's blaming it on ADHD, which is completely wrong. She's uh, actually blaming it on something called Ada. Now, if you don't know what Ada is, it is Ass Down Hankering Association. It's where if you see the booty in front of you, just gotta go, yeah! <laughs> My mans couldn't put it better than anybody else. If you see the booty, you just gotta go, yeah! <laughs> you know, there are clips online of Momo grabbing uh, people's asses or whatever. And, you know, believe it or not, even if someone could be attracted to her, uh, they, they, they would feel weird if she just walked up to them and grabbed them on their ass. And there's in fact uh, this wonderful video um, that just quantifies everybody's feelings about uh, what Momo's been doing. Touch his butt. <laughs> a little bit, but it's okay. I wanted, to, I wanted to lightly know that you were in the way. I was like... All she had to do was not touch his ass. And then she touched. Oh, look at me. I'm going to go touch the butt. Amazingly enough, people were very uncomfortable with that. Um, there's even worse stories from other cosplayers where cosplayers or their crews are just hanging out and, and Momo would literally be going up to people and, and shoving um, like microphones into their like genital regions which um i don't know about you but um my known talk my face is up here i'm i'm honestly not really surprised it was momo of all people i had heard whispers about how bad she was on the internet for quite some time however i thought it was really people taking the shit or taking the piss out of her uh because of her weight turns out i was wrong what do you know you know i, I think the sexual harassment stuff is definitely bad but I, I i'm not not to downplay the sexual harassment stuff at all that's that's not what i'm saying but the point of the matter here is is that there's so much she doesn't do she doesn't fulfill her patrons or any of that and then as a result of that she's developed this community where they'll just be head over heels for her and they'll fucking like her for no reason if you are literally giving your money to someone to get a service and then you are not getting that service and then you still pay for that service what the fuck is wrong with you? I, I'm just saying execute some critical thinking. If someone's not delivering on their promise, just fucking, just fucking don't, don't give them money. See, that, that's been one of my main reasons to not start a Patreon is because I am afraid of not being able to meet my deadlines on certain things. Uh, one, because I'm a perfectionist and then two, because um, I also spend my free time watching Sims 4 stuff reviews. There was an entire stuff pack for laundry we didn't need that in the sims 4 it took me like two years to get toddlers in that at least they gave it to me for free there's so much dlc for that game it's disgusting i i, I really am bothered by that i am like i love the sims i want to play it but i don't want to spend 150 dollars to get all the mechanics i want in my sims game but yes, I get off topic with Momo. I, I I don't know. I'm just saying execute critical thinking if you're someone who's a patron of her. Um, if someone comes across this to come and defend her. Maybe um, if you aren't getting what you paid for, don't pay for it. And even better, I think you're entitled to refunds for each month that she didn't hold up to her end of the bargain. Which is why if I ever start a Patreon, I will offer you nothing. <laughs> anyway, with that being said and me being a bad Man, um, <laughs> I am gonna go because I think the power might go out because there's a loud thunderstorm outside and it scares me. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitch. 
I swear to God, I'll stream eventually, and the Ali A book review is coming through. I'm waiting for some voice lines for some people, and then after that, um, I can begin shooting what I need to shoot. Anyway, with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Thank <laughs> you.